Hello there everybody and welcome to another TCG Game Boy Duel against Manu, this time we started a little adventure playing through the game together and we're gonna be playing with our starter decks and as we go through the game we're gonna be modifying our decks and uh, it should be a quite of a fun little adventure so as you see here we only changed a few cards from the starter deck uh, in my case, I removed all the electric types and I only kept the fighting types. Probably a bad idea, but I have no idea. All I know is that uh, Honig, there you go, his name is Honig, there you go. It's not Manu, it's Honig, new name, there you have it, get used to it. Um, he's using the grass type deck because he's a Bulbasaur guy and I'm a Charmander guy, so we had to do that. So I'm gonna play first, I have my Diglett against his Caterpie. Uh, my weakness is grass. That's not good. That's absolutely not good. But I'm gonna go for a dig. Get a little, a little bit of damage right there, and he's gonna play his Nidoran, um, Nidoran and uh, Caterpie, grass side Pokemon. I need to start building some of uh, some of my fire Pokemon as soon as possible because, yeah, he's gonna play Pokeball. He is successful, so that means he's gonna bring a Pokemon from his deck. Uh, I believe it's uh, to his hand, and yeah, that's how it is, and it's not good because it's a star you, and water types will absolutely murder my life because I have a fire a fire deck, so. Anyways, Gust of Wind, he's gonna bring in my Ponyta, and it's our turn, so yeah, Ponyta, what can we do? We're gonna play... Uh, I believe I'm gonna be put. Uh, I'm gonna put a fighting energy into my Diglett, and then I'm gonna play Switch because luckily I do have the Switch. So I'm gonna bring back Diglett. That uh, gust of wind that he got did absolutely nothing, and our attack will be able to finish off the Caterpie. And the first kill is gonna be for us, but that's bad, bad, bad because now in comes his Staryu, and he's gonna give him plus power, slap the 20 damage, and that's gonna instantly destroy our. Diglett, but luckily, 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 we drew a Scyther, one of the best Pokemon in the game. I got that from the email of, po of Professor Mason, and I believe he got Chansey, so Chansey and Scyther, two broken cards. I already got mine. I'm gonna start bulking up Scyther, I'm gonna leave in Ponyta. Probably a bad idea, but it's the only way because this star is gonna be a problem, and he just absolutely murdered my Ponyta. Ponyta had no chance, so. I drew Rapidash, maybe for a future Ponyta, which is already in my hand, but I didn't play it. I just gave an energy to Scyther, I'm gonna give him the turn, 20 damage, and yeah, I need to start playing my uh, my Pokemon on my bench, so I don't be in trouble. So Slash, after putting the energy on Scyther, 30 damage. Only 10 HP left for the Staryu, he's gonna put his energies into his Nidoran, he's gonna play the potion, and he has Defender, so that means he's gonna be able to survive another day, and that's bad. And my Scyther got badly damaged, I'm gonna play Computer Search, I'm gonna get rid of two cards, because I wanna search and look for that potion, and I find it, luckily I found it, it was on my prize list, so I risked it and I got my potion. And uh, unfortunately Slash isn't gonna be enough to take down the Staryu, it's only gonna do 10 damage after playing that Defender. And now, in comes another Nidoran, slap, I'm gonna take 40 damage now on my Scyther, horrible. And uh, I'm gonna start preparing that Ponyta, because it needs to become a Rapidash ASAP, ASAP. Uh, because, again, Grass types. He's gonna play Bill, which allows you to draw two cards, yeah! And uh, Horn Attack is gonna fail, unfortunate, another... Horn attack, like 30 damage, could have killed Scyther instantly. Ponyta has two energies, Diglett is gonna be played in the bench, and Slush is gonna leave the Nidoran with 10 HP. Are we gonna be lucky? Are we gonna be lucky? He's gonna evolve his Nidoran into his Nidorino, and 30 damage. That's the end of Scyther. The Scyther Rampage is gonna come to an end. We're gonna draw a Growlithe, we're gonna play an energy on our Ponyta, evolve it into Rapidash, and now it's time to believe in the Rapidash and use agility and be protected from his attack. We're gonna finish off the Nidorino, we're gonna draw an Arcanine, he's gonna play a CLM like, oh god, another water type, this is not good. 
Water types absolutely destroy it, but Rapid Dash has that agility. It has us absolutely protected from everything. Uh, I have Arcanine in my hand, but still no energies on Growlithe, so we're just gonna keep it for now. I'm gonna put the energy on Growlithe. And there's the agility! Another heads! We are protected after dealing 30 damage. It's our only protection against these water types. He's gonna evolve into Dugong! And that's no good. I need to believe in Rapidash. We all need to believe in Rapidash because the turn, the turn the agility is gonna fail from getting heads, we're gonna get absolutely swept because all we have are water types, Diglett and Rattata. Do you believe in Rapidash? And we managed to get another heads. We are protected one more hit will be able to finish off the dugong what can manu do i mean honig sorry is he gonna is he gonna retreat is he gonna live in his dugong does he have a plan he's gonna just skip his turn and the uh, growlith is gonna be able to evolve into arcanine and now the agility are we also protected the next turn Yes, we are! Agility! This brings flashback to that one game we had in Tabletop where Rapidash kept, kept getting heads and changed the entire, entire game. The incoming Goldeen, another water type, once again, if it wasn't for Rapidash, we could have gotten absolutely murdered! He only has water types, that's no good! Anyways, this time Agility didn't get the protection effect, uh, we're gonna get... Uh, 20 damage, we're gonna start powering up that Magmar, but Rapidash will be able to finish it off. Agility didn't work this time, but the damage is already done. One more prize card. Another Goldeen. Um, what can it do? Absolutely nothing. 10 becomes 20 due to the weakness. And um, yeah, Agility. This time we are protected and this, this is basically gonna... Sell the game, unless he switches, but it's not looking good. We managed, thanks to Rapidash, to beat this deck full of water types. Rapidash, that's all I gotta say. I hope you guys enjoyed, stay tuned for more, and allons it.